If there's something you really want to believe, that's what you should question the most. For 32 years, I have been uh, promoting the Raelian movement. I am the founder and the leader of the Raelian movement, which say there is no God, there is no soul, and of course there is no Holy Spirit. We, the Raelian movement, use the same technique uh, as the religious group who try to proselytize worldwide to have as many followers as possible. And I think it's good also that atheists uh, use the same technique to proselytize also and to counterbalance uh, the bad influence of, of God believers. So, Raelianism. Yeah, that's a weird one. And there's a few different religions which are atheistic. Uh, if you don't know what I mean, look into it. Um, Raelianism, they drop the idea of God, the soul, the Holy Spirit and all that kind of stuff. Good. Progress. Uh, but because of their origins in the 1970s at the end of like hippie culture and the mysticism surrounding UFOs, they developed as a UFO cult and basically believed that Jesus was an alien and that Muhammad was an alien and their leader, they believed that he was made by the aliens to be one of their, well, prophets and thus start Raelianism and thus tell people about the aliens and yet they're an atheist belief which supports the idea of the atheist movement in their opposition of God-based religion but a non-God-based version of religion really isn't that much better you're still claiming to know things which cannot be confirmed by evidence you're still claiming to know things that cannot be evidentially confirmed which cannot be confirmed in scientific conditions. Sure, certain claims come out, certain ideas come out with the Raelians, where they claim to have cloned a child, although they don't actually provide any serious evidence. And it sounds groovy to the people who follow it, but really without proof, without proper controls, without actual tests to confirm, it's not evidence. It's new age gone well, into a religion, really. It, it, it is basically very, very similar to New Age, but you've simply made it a religion based around a spiritual leader. So, uh, it's very important for me to push people to read the message I wrote, which is a completely atheist and rationalist message, which explain uh, that we have been created by an advanced civilization coming from another planet. No! Coming back, the second coming of uh, the Elohim, we will come back with Moses, Jesus, all the prophets no! to create peace on earth. I'm sure they're not just fattening us up like veal. Now, other prophets in other religions past, like Moses, yes. similar situation yes. always seems to be when you talk to the people from somewhere beyond earth, it's always just in private. But we wouldn't have, it have been easier just to, for them directly to talk to everyone on earth? It's the first time that the prophet is contacted and, and uh, speak one to one, face to face to Elohim mm. or God. Do you see why that makes people suspicious? Yes. No! The only thing you're sure of is uncertainty. Mm. That the only thing that uh, is certain is doubt. Uh, that the main thing is the Socratic principle that you have to you're only educated when you understand how ignorant you are. And so all, all assertions of faith or absolutism or complete belief are almost by definition useless and false. And that actually that's quite a strong commitment to be making. And so you to, to a party of doubt and uncertainty, open-mindedness and scepticism. And I feel I can spend the rest of my life doing that with a fair degree of conviction. Because you feel so sort of insignificant, doesn't it? Yeah. By what right have you appointed yourself to this position? Why do you think you were chosen to hear this message? That was my first question. They sent me to save this planet. Toodaloo!